one owner car guy and what I got here for you today is a really nice little 1985 Ford LTD. It's a one owner car and there's about 55,000 and change on the car. It is barely broken in. I really dig these old Ford bo uh, station wagons and the mini, they're like the mini wagon I guess you'd call them. Um, I've got lots of station wagons, whether they're big, small, short, or tall, I got them all. Hey, that kind of rhymed. Got a Fairmont right up there, Squire. Got a Granada up there. Got a couple of the bigger LTDs, Crown Vicks. And I don't know where this came. This ain't got no Crown Vic or no other name placard in the in the nameplate, but just straight up Ford LTD. And it is a wagon, the, the state model. Um, this guy really took care of his car. It's in great shape. This thing runs, drives, shifts, steers just great. Uh, the chrome on it looks just beautiful. It's like a bright royal blue or something. Or a, kind of a dark between bright and midnight. I don't know how to describe it. It's a dark blue, but it's bright. A dark bright blue, there you go. Beautiful wagon. This guy took care of this thing just impeccably. There's your average little dent or ding or a scratch here or there or something and I'll go up close and show you any of that kind of stuff right here in a second. My name is Nathan it's 406-544-6919 you can reach me absolutely anytime my website is www.oneownercarguy.com trying to pause in between the the ambulance there www.oneownercarguy.com and I do lots of one and two owner classic Euro and muscle cars and I sell them cheap and cars like this this is classic one owner 55 56 thousand miles and change that's nothing it's just not even broken in so that's your once around um, you've seen it now and now I'm gonna kinda just go up close and run around over on the other side and show you any minor damage, dings, flaws, stuff like that. And I will go ahead and show you the inside, take you on a test drive, the whole deal. I get to looking at my screen and I'm like, yeah, that's pretty. And then I kind of lose track there. Okay, I had to, I lost my phone. And hopefully she'll be able to find it there. Yep, I think we got it. So this is where we're gonna start. And there is plenty of chrome here on this here wagon. And all of it is in great shape. Sorry to run you over to the window there to get people over this way and to stumble up on you like this. But now I'm thinking, ding there, ding there, a couple little chips little scratch, scratch, ding. God, it's beautiful. This is nice as it gets. I'm trying to show you all that chrome and across the hood. Now there's a little lighter. A couple places are just a tad bit lighter. Like that's a little spot there. Just the paint, probably just a little lighter. Oh, now this is not. This ain't what I'm talking about. This is the worst spot on the whole car, right there. Just rubbed through a little bit. Somebody buffed it. I rubbed it through. Not me. Chip. And there's another one there. This is a beautiful car. This thing had to have been kept in a garage. I mean, that's all there is to it. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's original paint. 
And I don't believe there's been any paint work whatsoever on this car. Oh, I gotta show you underneath this thing before it gets too dark out. Look at this, titties on the side of the tires. Woo, buddy! All kinds of titties. There we go. Low light level, just low light. Whatever it is, takes a little bit while longer on my um, camera here. Gotta put a brand new muffler on there. This car is as close to new as you were going to find. That's all there is to it. Factory undercoating still on everything. Now come on, low light level adjustment. There you go. Look at this. It's going to take a second for it to pick it up, but I mean, it's just beautiful under here. I hate to ever use the phrase, like new, because it's just not. Look at all the rock char chip, chip guard, factory chip guard paint down on that whole bottom level. Awesome. Ding there. I'm losing my voice. I've done like so many videos in the last while. A little scuff there. I'm losing my voice a little bit here. I'm stumbling on my words. Underneath the front, look at that. Factory spoiler and everything. Little stuff right there. Armor all down on that right there. Look at this stuff, man. This car is absolutely beautiful. Just as nice as it gets. If you're looking for a wagon, and you like the small body ones, call me. I got lots of Fords, I got lots of Chevys, um, I got some Buicks, I got some nice Buick Sentry uh, Cutlass Sierra wagons. Get back up out of that low level light and take a second for it to adjust to the high level light or the bright light. Nathan, 406 544 6919. Hope this can be my uh, thumbnail. Beautiful chrome grill. <clears throat> Excuse me. www.oneownercarguy.com. You can reach me on there anytime. Check out all my pictures. Coming back into this thing, there's a dent right there. And some scratches right there. <coughs> Hard to see, but once you get to a certain angle, you can see it a little bit. Slightly faded there. And I could take this off for you, no problem. Uh, I just left them on. This smudge is water. Man, I love a one and two on a car like this. They're just absolutely, especially this one, it's absolutely beautiful, well taken care of. A one owner car, little chips right there on the paint. One owner car, the guy just, you're gonna take care of it if you pay the big money for it. That's all there is to it. You have to. It's like a prerequisite. Spend the big money, take care of the car. Pay the light bill, turn off the lights. You know, stuff like that. Garmish. Um, part, 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 Kirchen. Kirchen. Parton, Parton Kirchen. Now I'm way off on that. I don't even know what I'm looking at there. I'm trying. Put a sticker there. Okay, that's your once around. That's your twice around. That's the round downtown, down around downtown. That is this entire one owner, beautiful estate, station wagon, Ford LTD. I'm gonna show you the interior now. And then we'll go up close and hop in and go on a test drive. We're already up close, darn it. Sorry to make you go out of frame there. Now I'm looking for my keys. Lost my keys. I hope I didn't take them inside. That would suck to get this far on it and then have to... I don't got them. I do not got the keys. We'll see if somebody else can grab them. Interior is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I think she's got them. 
I think I took him in with me. Well, she didn't think to grab him on the counter there. It's hard to, it's hard to sign language. The keys are on the counter. Kick panel's in good shape there. A little hole in the carpet from wearing your foot on it. It's in great shape on the seat. Now we got the keys, baby. Door panels are in great condition. All the power windows, power seats, power this, power that. Oh, the horn button right there is missing. Very cheap item to get. Now, this thing does not seem to have had any weird smells or anything like that, but there is a hole right there that looks like a burn hole. And it's nothing like it anywhere. There's nothing on the roof, on the on the door pillar here where you'd usually get them or anything like that. Stuff here where it flipped down or fell down. Oh yeah, power locks. Why aren't they working? <clears throat> Let's start this car up here. Oh, maybe a fuse. Yeah, the power locks are not 100% there. AC and all that. Wheel lock tool for your caps there. Original owner's manual. And back when people used to actually fill out their service logs. Can you believe that? I don't even think they give you this kind of stuff no more. And it's filled out up to 46384. You know what? I was wrong there. And there was a couple other entries after that, but that's 68857. I don't know why I was thinking 55 and change, but I sure was. I'm gonna pop this in here. Continue to do the review of the inside. Seats are beautiful. Now these things are absolute bad on headliners, the wagons, and I've got a brand spanking new headliner in this car that I just had put in. And I'll give you another look at that. I believe these are pretty factory floor mats here. Plush, plush carpet. Pretty sporty seats too, kind of like an Eddie Bauer or something. It's not that package, it just kind of reminds me of what I'm saying there. <clears throat> it's been raining and chilly and all that stuff. The hood struts, hood struts, um, trunk struts. How you doing, Papa? Hey, how's it going? I'll be with you in a minute here. I'm taking a video. We're, this oldie. we're not open. I'm taking I'm a, just looking at I'm, the old guy. We're not open. I'm taking a video here, but oh. thanks for stopping by. Spare and everything's in good shape. I got the jack tool here. And I'm going to flip in again here and show you this is a beautiful car people will come in all day long looking at cars here and I need to have a way to deal with them and talk to them but I really am just so busy doing this here that it's a little hard I need somebody out here all the time I don't know if this comes up no, it don't. It just flips like this. And lace. Ah, oh, there we go. Got it to click in. And just absolutely beautiful. 
I have got a couple things here that have made me be a little bit off on doing my video correctly for you. And I'm sorry. Um, the difference of a cul-de-sac, the cul-de-sac sure is nice because you're stuck in the cul-de-sac and there's nobody there to grab you and say, hey, I want to look at this, or hey, how much is this, or any of this kind of stuff. Which, I mean, that's what I'm supposed to want to do here is sell stuff. Um, I just am not really that into it sometimes. Ah, registration card. I told him we wasn't open and stuff, but I want to say hello and everything. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm trying to keep my my focus. It's hard to think about what I'm talking about and ad-lib this stuff. I'm just ad-libbing it, and it's a little hard to stay on track and do it to it the right way. When there's people around. I mean, I've, I've got off track in this video six, seven, eight times now. I'm trying, I'm trying. Now, this is one of the most amazing parts of this car is under the hood. The under the hood of this car is amazing. So clean. I actually almost brought some scrambled eggs out here to literally eat off this motor. It's beautiful. I mean, look at this. Ford 38 V6, that's a great motor, great motor. They put them in all kinds of different cars, different models of their cars. But, and you can tell on this piece just how it's not all and like crinkling up. See that little stickers on everything? It's a beautiful car. And honestly, it belongs in a showroom somewhere. But, yeah, that's about Oh yeah, there's another sticker right there. Even on that. And... Ah. Inside, outside, around, downtown, the whole deal. We're gonna go for a test drive now. And swing you around the block and see how you like riding in this bad boy www.oneownercarguy.com You can reach me anytime. 406-544-6919 Call anytime. That's about it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I could tell you here. And for the most part, I've got it all. Did I lose my keys again? <laughs> Don't think so. I don't have them, but I didn't lose them. Will they be in the last pocket I check in? Yep. Of course there. It's just the way it goes. And actually, I think I have lost my keys. Oh, we gotta pick this up. Okay, not cool. Not cool at all. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna clip in this test drive here in a second because I have totally lost my keys. I've done another triple double turnarounder here. Can't think of anything else to tell you about it. And that's that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. But I ain't done. I'll be back with a test drive in a little while. Well, here we are, back on our 1985 Ford LTD. And I'm gonna head around the block here. Actually, we're gonna head around about three of them and do a test drive for you. This is a really nice driving little car. Beautiful paint, beautiful insides, beautiful underneath. The whole deal, just a really nice car. getting calls like crazy here while I'm 
try and take my video. People stopping by, people calling, you name it. What a nice little wagon. Okay, here we go. We're going to take off. I've got to find my keys for like the fifth time here. There we go. Very nice car. My name is Nathan, it's 406-544-6919. You reach me anytime. Not only, wow, them guys just coming right over. Not only that, www.oneownercarguy.com. And that's my other, my website there, my other. My other channel actually is One Owner Car Guy here on YouTube and it don't have as it has like little short preview videos good brakes man when you put your foot down about a quarter of the way it just stops I hate this light I know I say it every time I go by I'm just so scared that the sucker is gonna change on me and I get my picture taken going through the light going through the light taking their picture yes sir -y. This car drives nice. Nice, nice, nice. I've got a lot of wagons right now. I'd say I have 15, 16 wagons. Um, big ones, little ones, in between ones, you name it. This thing's got plenty of pep. <clears throat> I've never had an actual just LTD wagon. I've had them every which way, but never in this platform. You know what? The gear gear pin selector is a little bit off because it says we're in neutral. I don't even look at an old Ford or an old Chevy like this. I, I don't know. I just, Grab the stick and you put it down and I feel it and I know right where it click 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 and it's in and the click 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 all the clicks I know all the clicks. Okay. Nathan 406 544 6919 can reach me absolutely anytime. I'm gonna try a sideways shot here that we don't usually do, especially on a big old wagon. But I wonder. I think I can take shots while I'm taking camera video. Not sure. Man, it's pretty paint, pretty car, pretty chrome. Nice old wagon. Nathan, 406 544. 6919. Gonna clip this in with the one there that we had to stop on and go get the keys. And man, I'm trying to think if there's anything else on this thing that I could show you, and there's just not. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Import, export, I will ship this thing anywhere in the entire world. You name it. And that's all I can say. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is. 